Well, good afternoon and welcome. My name is Bob Kramer and I feel really uh, fortunate to be able to be with you and share this preview of the Logos Bible software package. And I feel especially honored in light of the fact that I get the impression that many of you are serving in church ministry as pastors and ministers. And uh, so I'm thrilled to be in a room with you. I feel kindred spirit as one who has served in pastoral ministry for over 20 years. And um, I think we uh, share that kind of common journey together. And I think that that's so important as we think about even the tool that we're going to be talking about today. And, and so much so that, you know, when we're in Christian ministry, the Word of God being central and so important in our lives and in ministry. And, and so I think Psalm 1 says it well. And, you know, there's a, there's a certain way that the Bible sort of calls us to it, you know, to go deeper and to... Uh, and to uh, grow more in our understanding of the Word of God. And as we do so, the Bible tells us that we will be prosperous for the kingdom of God, uh, will spiritually flourish in our lives. And, and so I'm excited that Logos is a helpful tool for helping the Bible to come alive, for us to be able to achieve some of that, that greater uh, meditative attitude and action towards the Bible so that we grow and and so that we're able to have our own life changed, so that then in ministry, as the Lord is so good to us in ministry, that he allows us to then be able to influence and impact the lives of others, which is very humbling. Um, and so we find the Word of God to be so significant and so important, and it even calls us to itself to go deeper. But I think you would probably agree that when you're in ministry, that there are many challenges that we find in ministry. And if I asked you what you find to be some of the biggest challenges, you would probably have a list that uh, you would, you know, that you could come up with 10 to 12, um, and your list might be different than mine. But I want to focus on, I think, what are, I think, two of the biggest challenges that we often find, and I found in my years in pastoral ministry, and those are to find personal time and to find preparational time. And more specifically, personal devotional time. You know, church ministry doesn't stop. I mean, I think all of you that are involved in church ministry, you you experience this. It's, it's busy, you know, because it's filled with people. Churches are filled with people, and people have many needs. People have uh, different agendas even sometimes. People have things that are part of their lives, and those people things just don't stop. They don't pause. And, and so there's always things to do. There's ministry decisions to make. There's meetings and there's teachings. And so I think we, for that reason, oftentimes we find the very thing that we need to be doing, which is plugging into the Word of God, having solid devotional times, we may have difficult time being able to set that aside. And when we have the time, maybe not using it as effectively as we need to, but also the preparational study time. Such an important dynamic in Christian ministry because we typically are going to be involved in teaching, whether one-on-one -on -one groups or larger groups, and then in preaching, possibly to the entire church family and other churches. And so as our personal devotional life suffers, so will our proclamational life. And so I have found that the Logos package is just a huge help in both of these areas. And so what I'm going to do is actually go over into the program and take us to, first of all, um, what would be in Logos, uh, the home page. And the home page is, is significant in that um, it has a wealth of information in and of itself. There's articles on the home page. Um, there are uh, excerpts from the Bible that are just very helpful and encouraging. Articles of current issues in Christianity and so on. But what I especially want to point you to right now are the devotionals. There are three devotionals on the front page, uh, Oswald Chambers, Utmost for His Highest, Charles Spurgeon, uh, Morning and Evening, and also the Connect the Testaments, um, and that's what I'm pointing to right now. And I want to show you, um, as we click on more to see what the rest of that article looks like, we have the opportunity to take and, and get a good look at what this actual full article has to say and then get a chance to um, and then zero in a bit more on it as a devotional as we would in our devotional life. So what I've done is I've gone to a page in Logos that shows the devotional on the left tile here. Notice uh, primarily based on Isaiah chapter 30. And when I click on that, notice the center tile is moving. Why is it moving? Um, it's changing because it's going to the texts really wonderfully, going to the text that I'm pointing to, and all three of these passages appear then in the center uh, tile, and then I have in the far right 
a information window, and as I put my cursor on words, notice it's going to change and give me a definition. As I go into the biblical text, look at what it will give me. It'll go in much more depth. It'll give me other passages, the Greek word and syntax. And so one of the great choices there is that with Logos, my devotional time, not only is it more effective, it has a depth that I can kind of tailor. Um, in addition to that, one of the things I really like in Logos is that there's, um, in the document section, there's available study notes. And so I've labeled one of those personal devotional study notes, as you see. And the nice thing here is that this is something that I enter. So as I'm doing my devotions, I can type in uh, reflections, I can journal, eventually port that out to a Word document or some other format if I choose to. And so I'm able to have a great devotional time with some of the, all the, you know, these resources that Logos offers and to have that great devotional time with the Lord as I get up and I spend time with Him, um, with the Bible, with my PC, and moving around within different resources. Well, the other thing I want to talk about is that preparational time. And so um, what I want to do is utilize the story of Jesus and the woman at the well as an example for us of, of the power of Logos when it comes to using it and helping you in preparation and study. So I've already typed in John 4, 1 through 26 in the search window. You could have just typed uh, the woman at the well, would have found it for you. But a significant passage, obviously, where Jesus goes across culture, across gender, um, and shares the gospel and shares aspects about worship and truth and the life of the spirit, life in the spirit, with the Samaritan woman. But notice as I've gone to this passage, what's happened in the left panel is the passage guide. And the passage guide is showing me all the resources that Logos has just reached for that are applicable, that touch on this passage in John chapter 4. So it lists the different commentaries that I could seek out, uh, some parallel passages, um, outlines, that as I lay my cursor I can see the specific uh, material in those outlines. Um, and, and so it's telling me that I have a lot of resources available that I can click on any of those to go more deeply, but it's already opened some for me, and that's really good too, isn't it? So the NIV text, the NIV text, which is the passage, the, the uh, version that I tend to use most, is open here in this <clears throat> tile. And so I have the full NIV text. Um, below that, I have the Bible Exposition Commentary. Um, I still have an informational window open, uh, which gives me some nice word, additional word definitions. And that allows me to really jump right in to something that oftentimes is so key and critical when you're doing preparation, when you're doing your study, and that is to do a word study. So I just want to zero in just for a minute on a word um, that I find fascinating overall and a challenge, um, and it's the word worship. And so when I lay my cursor over the word worship, notice um, in my information window I've gotten a lot of information on the word worship, its origination as, as being worship, ascribing praise, paying homage. I even have the Greek word. I can even, if you listen, Proskuno, hear the pronunciation of the word and, uh, and get familiar a little bit more with the original language and even be able to give that word maybe as I'm doing my teaching. And so um, it has strong listings as well. So I can do a very good word study, pretty comprehensive, right from within Logos and right from within the NIV text or whichever text that you may tend to prefer. You can go even further than that when it comes to depth and use another one of the guides that's available to you in Logos, which is the exegetical guide. And so the exegetical guide will give you um, word by word um, in this passage. So look, here's John 4.15. Look at the listing out of the words, and you've got uh, grammatical helps, you've got syntax and mood. I mean, something would take you a long time to parse out each word, you know, from those of you that do that work. And so this is right in front of you, right with you as you're looking at the passage. Um, and so, great preparational helps there as well. There's one other tool that I find uh, very, very helpful um, in Logos for saving time for me in ministry when I have sermon responsibilities. And that is the Sermon Starter Guide, as you can see listed just under the Guide tab in the top ribbon. When I click on the Sermon Starter Guide, and still looking for sermon starters in the same passage. Um, so John 4, 1 through 26. 
And so when I connect those together, I now get ideas for sermons related to themes and topics that are in this story. So if I come down to this uh, part of, the, of this panel, notice approaches to witnessing comes up as one of the possible themes. When I click on that, I get a whole nice long outline with additional passages about things that we learn from witne about witnessing from this particular passage. And so saving a, a, a quite a bit of time to be able to jumpstart your sermon preparation and your ideas that you might be uh, already beginning to think about for your devotional life perhaps from something you've journaled, but beginning to hit the ground running with respect to your sermon preparation that's coming up possibly for that coming Sunday. One last thing that I wanted to point out was as you get down lower into um, this um, uh, material listing and resource listing, the maps that are given, um, one of the neat features about the maps that I find that has quite a bit of impact when teaching, let's say we go into a map that shows Samaria, um, gives a definition of that, and we can begin to look at some of the regions around it, but there's also a Google Map link, which is really, really neat. And so when you click on that, it'll give you the connect based on latitude and longitude of modern-day Samaria. And there's just something about when you're teaching and you show people kind of that information modern day, it just tends to make it more relevant, it makes it more current as to, okay, what is that place today? Um, and thinking about it in the modern moment. Um, so I like that that's available just at your fingertips through the Logos package. So I find then that as we've talked a little bit about some of the challenges of ministry, that I, I find that you are impacted, I am impacted by things that help us to make more effective use of our time, aren't we? And Logos is an effective tool for making the Bible come alive in our life and ministry. And it enables the devotional life of, 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 in my life and yours, to be used more effectively at a depth that we can sort of gauge um, in our preparational study time using some of those tools that that we were looking at and that we were talking about. And so um, this helpful tool gives you the opportunity to then tailor it the way you want it to work for you. And you'll find out as you use it, that's one of the wonderful things about Logos, that you can customize, you can, you can put in your own preferences for the way that you use the program. But in addition to that, you may already be kind of wondering this as you've been sitting here, well, how about jumping in overall as a person who would use this, this package? What does that look like? Is it a one-size-fits-all? Can I customize my commitment even that way? Well, the answer is yes, you can. And, and I'm going to go quickly through the different packages that we have available. But I want you to notice in the upper right that today, when you come see me in our booth, I'm able to extend to you an incredible 20% discount to add to really the greater value even of what's given to you um, in, in this um, program. So we have what would be, no surprise, called the starter package. And the starter gives you a couple hundred resources, significant print value, uh, no language tools, but still notice the apologetic study Bible, history of the Christian church, a really good Bible dictionary for that starting point of getting into the package, getting the home page, and running the, the program. Um, you step up to the bronze, which is $52 a month, and you add almost twice as many resources. And notice uh, the commentary, the lexicon that's added in that package. Then we get into the silver, uh, $79 a month, um, be remembering that 20% off right today. Um, and that gives you another couple hundred resources, almost double again. And um, the whole New Testament commentary, which is excellent. Um, the pulpit commentary, if you have preaching responsibilities. Then we go up to the gold, $120 a month. Again, we've added more. You, you get um, the Kittle, Theological Dictionary of New Testament, actually, Dr. Summers, N.T. Wright's collection, um, which is just so good. Um, the platinum takes you up another level. We're now up to a print value of close to $30,000. Um, additional commentaries, some really excellent Greek English lexicons. Uh, the diamond. Uh, gets you uh, even more resources. Notice your Warfield's collection um, and the College Press NIV commentary series as well is in that. And then the portfolio, which is everything. The portfolio is everything that you have all the way up through the different packages in a one comprehensive package so that you have everything that Logos has to, to offer when you, um, when you start out 
at the portfolio level. And so there's what's added additionally in the portfolio package. Now, something you can be mindful of with Logos is that they, the, buy, the, uh, the phone smart app is just is excellent for Bible study on the go as well as on your tablet. Uh, you can have your library view, you can split screens, you know, so you can have those different panels like I showed you a few minutes ago, your passage guide um, that we looked at very briefly that shows you all the resources, a Bible study, a word study, a window, community notes, which is neat, so you can send, if you found something really interesting, you can send to somebody that you've identified as part of a community that you're a part of. Um, and so, but some reminders about no matter where you would choose to enter in today and start out using Logos, a lifetime license is issued to you. So in other words, when you pay that amount per month, whether it's $30, $40, $60 a month, you'll get automatic upgrades for life. You'll get the latest for that level sent to you and downloadable. Um, so it's a neat lifetime commitment that's being made to you. 30-day money-back guarantee. Today you come to the booth, we talk a little further, we get to, to uh, talk a little bit more about the program, and you figure out which level is best for you. Use it for 30 days, you don't like it, uh, you, don't, you don't need to keep it, and uh, that, that gets you out of your commitment. The customer service is award-winning. The online training is excellent to go online and look at the YouTube training. Um, and I, we, we have tried to design uh, our libraries so that they'll fit different kinds of, of budgets and, and, and also maybe what your needs are in terms of your own uh, resource um, collections and how much research that you're doing. Um, and so but there are limited quantities. So I can only give out the discounts to so many, so I would encourage you to not wait and delay, um, but to get to, to the booth and connect with us. Um, we'd like to hear back from you and to build the community even more broadly in the Logos community and hear things back from you. But I go back to this passage that we started out with and the uniqueness of how the Bible calls us to go more deeply in our understanding and study of it as we would meditate on it day and night. And so, as the Bible calls to us to go more deeply, I would encourage you again to remember, Logos is such a helpful tool for the Bible to, to come alive. And as, as we're transformed, as we're changed, as the Bible is working in and through our lives, we're living that, that prosperous life for the kingdom, we're impacting other people. And it begins when we are taking the time to get more deeply into the Word of God, when we're making the best use of our time, maximizing our time and that's what I believe Logos really does best. It helps you to maximize your time in, in your personal devotional life so that your public proclamation of life will maximize in the lives of others. And so come see me and we can talk about further how, how Logos can help increase your knowledge, your experience and your, your opportunity to walk even more closely with the Lord. I leave you with this. Imagine that you had access to a, a, and maybe you do, a large, robust theological library. Maybe you have one yourself, but I'm thinking of thousands of volumes where you're able to go to a library and have access to all kinds of resources. And you get to the library, and, 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 but imagine that as you arrive there, a personal librarian has been there ahead of you that knows your learning style, that knows the, the tools that you typically make the most use of that understands basically what you're looking for in your study and in your research. And so they got there ahead of time. And so when you go into that large library, there's a table. And on that table, there are already books that have been pulled off the shelf that not just the tools that you tend to use most, but in sequence that you would likely use them and chain together. And that's what Logos does for you. Logos is not just a program with a lot of resources. That's good. But it's personal. It's like having a personal librarian where you're able to, as you build into what you're doing with Logos, you can customize with your preferences, with the tools that you tend to utilize. You can organize your tiles the way that you want them to be sequenced. And so it's like having this personal librarian that's going to help you to maximize and make the best use of your study time in the scriptures. And so I look forward to seeing you at the booth. And again, thanks for, for being here and for hearing more about Logos.